Hi guys, how's it going? David here. Um, just going to shoot a few bits on tonight and uh, I'm also going to get me final gravity of me Sierra Nevada Paleo clone. Uh, but after the you guys uh, guessed at the FG and uh, whoever wins or it's the closest, he's going to find a couple of bottles bringing themselves over to you. Apart from Dino, who's in New Zealand, so hard luck, mate. But uh, if you do win, I'll, uh, I'll enjoy them for you. So. Uh, first things first, right, home brew, that would be so. This has got um, the Cooper's English Bitter I've done. It's living two weeks in the bottle, I made absolute bollocks of it the first time I did it. Put too much priming sugar in it, like, uh, like a volcano, so this one's a lot calmer. So it's going to get better with age, but two weeks, I just fancied one, so it's Tuesday night, it's uh, been warm again. Uh, staying quite nice in here, 20.9 degrees, so it's the liquid is staying between 18 and 20, so I'm quite happy about so, that popping. Pop there, not too much smoke. Give it a pour, see if you can see it. I'll say I've got to pour this a bit vigorously because I don't think it's going to get a massive effect otherwise. I say it's only two weeks in the bottle, so it is going to improve. I also put some finishing hops with this, I can't remember. Maybe in Challenger, I can't uh, I think I found it. So yeah, it's a bit to chill days, I'm not able to fridge too long, it's going to take it all a bit sooner. So, cheers guys. It's tasting really nice that. I'd say only two weeks from the bottle it will get better, so look forward to that. And it's, uh, Love the caramely taste. It smells really nice. Um, it's a bit of lace in there, and it's, it's, it's obviously all the glass, so that head is going to improve in time. So I'm uh, looking forward to that batch. So. I think a brew of uh, beer and hands on. I also used, um, if I remember rightly, did it to the neighbor 90 or 20 litres. So I've started a lot of my kits now because a few guys realise he's. Uh, his alcohol strength is very optimistic, and I'm not had, well, I'm not saying not had one, certainly not had more than one. What's been anywhere near the, uh, the safety finishing uh, alcohol by volume, so cheers. Right, been doing a bit of uh, thinking, a bit of messing about, and uh, I've come up with an idea. I don't know if you guys can put me straight, but I'm pretty sure I've seen, and I've looked on YouTube and I've called. I can make one of these two into a homebrew boiler. So you need the elements and the copper tubing and that. So what I've done, I've bought, going out tonight, I've got the two Tesco value kettles, five pounds, five UK pounds each. Um, all the elements alone. So for ten pounds, I should be getting a boiler and I'm going to source a few bits of copper pipe and that. And uh, Pretty sure of a button. Well, I say it's, I don't know uh, what kind of plastic should be used. I'm pretty sure either of these two, I'm sure you can correct me if, uh, if I'm wrong. I'll put uh, two bleeding 38mm holes in them just to find out they're no good. So if you guys can uh, point me in the right direction, I'll uh, appreciate that. Cheers. And also, uh, oh, being still. Uh, I've seen, this is something I've seen Walsh Brewer. He's done. Um, some alcohol drink with a malted milk, some, so some of you guys will have seen that. And I picked one up myself and I just read the ingredients. And it's not a lot different to uh, dried malt extract from what I can see. Uh, the actual ingredients is barley malt extract 72%, whey powder, sugar, thickener, which is guar gum and salt. So they're 400 grams. So if you're going to use uh, a kilogram of um, light dry malt extracts. Say three of these, if you've got 70%, so it's three sevens of tw uh, 21. So it's um, 2 thirds, isn't it? So it's going to come out more or less at uh, a kilogram of three of those. And it's £1.40 a pop, which is uh, a damn sight cheaper. We can get the dried malt extract over here. So I might do something with that. I was thinking of doing something like. Um, a stout, I mean, obviously, it's malted, so it's you could call it like a milk stout. So, I'm, I'm with the idea of that. 
old one too, and a strong lager, a big batch, batch 28 litre a batch, and uh, to fill me on the barrel there and uh, condition it, and also we get that ready for the winter. But that's next week's headache, so that's what I'm going to do. And also with this, uh, this fermenter um, to make it into a boiler. I've seen some people use like, the normal taps, and also I've seen some, I think Sean. From I think Sean you might have used the, uh, the ball taps, I'm not sure how I'm going to attach it to there, do I need like a rubber washer either side of it, something like that, or, and the, obviously the copper pipe coming off it, so I don't know, so I'm just trying a few ideas, and like I say, I mean, carries that from work, and I've all just paid £10 for two kettles, and get it all done for about £15, which I think is uh, pretty good, so I'm going to give that one a go, right, so, yeah. Swig of this, so it's uh, nice to do this. Right, on to the moment of truth, and we get the FG of the Sierra Nevada now, so bear uh, with me, get the hydrometer out. I'm bottling tonight, but I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going through everything because I need to. Right, so then my cylinders, that's been fully sanitised. I mean, I'm not killing these. Um, Part of the reason we make it so, but I'm not killing these all the time. I could put a tap on there easily, but it just makes life so much easier with tapping, not exposing the seed elements. So, there we go. Smelling good, looking good as well. So, I'm going to put those back on there. I'm probably done that much, so it's going to go. I right, also might have to drink a little bit. Taste about this. It's tasting pretty decent already, that so I'll give it a go and then uh, spin and have uh, a look. What are we up to? Yeah, there we are. I'm going to set it up to a thousand, thousand watts. So, I think, I'm not going to lie, thousand and eleven. Uh, one point zero one oh. Yeah, I'll show you guys then. Eh? You can see, just below the black marks are 10, so it's just this one below, so it's 11, 1.010. So let's see who's the, uh, who's the closest. I've got a bit of a crib sheet here. Ah, it's Mr. 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 Before you know now, it's, uh, well, you'll know anyway, mate. Norfolk Hillbilly guest at 1.010, so I'm just going to work this uh, final gravity out. It's got a bit of a Thing here, so 1.046 minus 1 1.0411 times 131 4.58%. We've got 4.6%. So, uh, off a gill belly. Um, go away for a couple of weeks, condition them while I'm away, and uh, I'll PM you, get your address, and I'll send you a couple of uh. Couple bottles for you to sample for. Well done, mate. I just want to thank everyone who had a go at it. Um, Ants Rogerson, 1.012, pretty close, mate, but lucky. Andy's pet, 1.014, again, not far off. Dino, Tubing Oz, uh, New Zealand, 1.013. Brewing Shed Dean, 1.010, quite close again, then. and uh, Homebrew Marty. 1.009 so uh, say thanks all for having a go it was a bit of fun I'm going to send you a couple of bottles and uh, let's hope you enjoy it and uh, without further ado I'm going to try this again right I'm going down to the crappy part of bottling now I've got all my bottles sanitised I've got my caps soaking and I've got my capper out there so 
I hate bottling, not you guys uh, up to it as well, I don't know. So much easier in a bottle, if you only sanitise it one thing, it's just so much easier. But bottles are a lot more um, flexible, you know, you can condition them better in summer and in winter. So I do prefer the that, uh, flexibility aspects of the bottle, but if you're pissing about. Plus, uh, when I start sending these bottles out, there's beer mail away, so bottles are the one to know, so I'm going to bottle that. Uh, cheers for watching guys, appreciate all your support and your comments and um, if you haven't been here before, we'll wait for a couple of weeks so we'll have a, get a couple of weeks yourselves and uh, pleasure to uh, share these things with you and uh, I like to see your videos as well so thanks for watching guys and uh, take care.